Chairman, uh, Ms. Guliani, um, were you, uh, you're familiar with the Stingray technology that the Chairman referenced a little bit ago? Yes. Very yeah, and the fact that it mimics a cell site, tricks phones into going to that so that the person using the Stingray can get access to the numbers and therefore where this person, in fact, is located. That's correct. All phones in range. And the fact that every major law enforcement agency in the federal government is using that, I assume that troubles you a little bit like it does me? Um, we were very troubled, specifically by the notion that these devices have been shrouded in secrecy. The public didn't know about them, judges in many cases, defense attorneys. And did you also know that it wasn't just limited to law enforcement, that it included the Department of Energy and, more importantly, as the chairman pointed out, the Internal Revenue Service? Did you yes, know that? There have been recent reports that the IRS and other agencies are also using these devices. Mr. Downing, did you know the IRS was using the Stingray technology? I believe, I, I do understand that. It's the criminal part of the IRS, so the criminal investigators. No, no, did, but did you, know, did you know they were using it, or did you learn in the press like the rest of us did? I personally didn't have specific knowledge of it, no. Have you, I know you've got this Jones memo that you've given to all law enforcement and the federal government, but won't show Congress and therefore the American people. Did you, does, has the Jones memo went to the Internal Revenue Service to tell them how you think they should use this Stingray technology that you didn't know they were using? No, it did not, to my knowledge. So you haven't sent it to them? But this is the guideline on how, how, how we're supposed to deal with this important privacy issue that you thought was so important that you, get, you gave it to everyone in the Justice Department. You won't let Congress see it, but you know an agency has used the technology and you didn't give them the memo, the guidelines on how they should appropriately use it? We have given them the cell site policy. Of no, no, I'm asking about the Jones memo, the, this secret document that you won't let us see. Has it been given to the Internal Revenue Service? After all, they've used this technology on American people. The Jones memo is a memo uh, that advises. Has it went to the Internal Revenue Service? I don't know the answer to that. I don't believe so. Well, that's scary. Because let me just remind you all of something here. The Internal Revenue Service for a sustained period of time, systematically targeted Americans who were exercising their First Amendment liberties. And they sent questionnaires and information to these, told these groups to answer questions like, questions like this. Please provide board member or officers who has run or will run for public office who are in your group. Please provide handouts you provided to the audience participants and to the public. Please provide detailed contents of any speeches giving at your, given at your meetings. Copies of current web pages. They ask them, will you attempt to influence the outcome of specific legislation? That's a fancy way of asking, will you exercise your First Amendment rights? Are you kidding me? And now this same agency has Stingray technology, has used Stingray technology, and you haven't even given them the memo to tell them how they should appropriately use it? This is unbelievable. Give copies of all communications, pamphlets, advertising, copies of any radio, television, internet advertisements you've done. Another 33 questions sent to another Tea Party group. Have you conducted or will you conduct voter education activities? Provide, now, this is amazing. Provide details regarding your relationship with, they list a person's name, Justin Thomas. Now think about this. All these questions that I think go right to the First Amendment liberties, and now this agency has a technology that they can go into an area where, let's say there's a political rally going on. They go into an area, say, we're going we're gonna to trick every cell phone to come into this device so we can get people's phone numbers, know who they are, who they've been talking to, who they associate with. In this context, and you, have, you didn't even know about it, and you haven't even advised them on how to use it? Mr. Larkin, is that a little concerning to you? Uh, the predicate facts are very con disconcerting, uh, very troubling. Uh, one of the lines that I think the, con the committee should consider not drawing is trying to limit the use of these sort of devices by agency because over time it will bleed over into every other agency. And that doesn't even begin to count the number of state and local agencies that can use these devices. So there's a very troubling aspect of this problem. Yeah, it seems to me at a minimum you need a probable cause warrant before you can do this. It's, I mean, again, I think you have to view everything in context. You have to view it within the framework of what we have seen from this administration going after people's First Amendment liberties, people's Fourth Amendment liberties, and now they have this technology that the Internal Revenue Service is using with no guidance from our own Justice Department? I mean, that, that, that boggles the mind, boggles the mind. Ms. Guglielmi, I'll give you the last word. 
Sure. I mean, I, I would echo the same concerns. We're concerned that the guidance that exists doesn't apply to states and localities or other federal agencies. Um, and I will note, even that guidance has loopholes and deficiencies. There is a war requirement by default, except for exceptional circumstances. Exceptional circumstances aren't defined, um, and we've had no additional information as to what that even means. Um, so given this and, and some of the other deficiencies, how are, how are judges informed of this? How are defense attorneys informed of information from these this, devices being used? There's just no clarity This right This Jones memo with guidelines, this secret memo that we can't see, but the night before the hearing they tell the chairman and the ranking member, oh, we'll let you view it in private with your secret 3D glasses or whatever it is, and they won't let the IRS know how they should do this. Unbelievable. Unbe I mean, it's true. Unbelievable what we're seeing. In